Hey guys, it's Patience and I'm back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about using money versus spending money, okay? The differences of that and I'm going to try to give you an example, okay? Now, before I do that, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment in the section box and let me know how uh, you're liking the information and how beneficial it may uh, be to you. And also, if you have any ideas or topics that you would like me to cover, put that in the comment section as well. Be sure to visit the YouTube channel for all my older videos as well as all the new content that's coming out as well. Check the description box for all of my social media as well as there are a lot of goodies in there that you might want to take advantage of that will help in your financial lifestyle. All right, now that that's all that's out the way, using money versus spending money. So when you use money, that means you're sending that money out and it's to come back full circle. In other words, you're investing that money into something that's going to bring more money in for you. That may be a degree, that may be a job, um, a certain job maybe that you have. Um, it could be a number of things, a number of things. But the point is you're, you use the money and it's bringing in more money for you than you are currently doing. Now, there's spending money. Now, when you spend money, you're sending the money out, but it's not coming back in. So think of all the things that you use your money on that you're sending money out the door, but uh, that money does not return to you from using that object or from um, that service, whatever it is, okay? That's a liability, okay? So that's going to be spending money. So you want to Spend intentionally. There's another video on intentional spending that I've already made. So look on the, go back to, like I said, the YouTube channel is called Siobhan Riggins. The link will be in the description box. But you go go to that channel, surf through those uh, financial videos. And I talked earlier this week about spending with intention. Okay. But main uh, mainly what I'm trying to get you to see is that there is a difference. So even when you talk, you don't want to say I'm spending my money. No. If you feel like you're spending your money and it's not bringing any value to your life um, more than just, you know, just a temporary fix, like a kind of like a Band-Aid over a scab. If, if, if that's what you're using that money for and you feel like it's really just being spent because it's not going to return to you um, from what you're buying, then that's your chance where you can think twice as to whether you want to make this purchase or not or whether you would like to save the money. If you're using that any money, then you should be getting a return. Like I said, that's an asset because it's bringing money back to you. And it's also building, it's basically returning the money that you invested out, but also giving a profit where you can start bringing in more cash. So start trying to use your money more than you spend. The object of it is the more money you spend, the less you have to use. But this is the thing. When you spend money, that's not necessarily your friend. When you use money, you guys are friends. You and money are friends. Because you're not just giving it away just aimlessly. You're protecting your money. You are uh, doing right by it and you're respecting it. And so therefore, it will pay you in the end, okay? That was going to be, uh, that's it for today, for this one. I just want you guys to kind of focus in and practice that, okay? And just just get in the habit. You just have to, these are all habits, guys. These are, you. We have these habits that we have having to break. And then we also have these habits that we're having to make. This is one of those habits that you have to make if you want to be a financial success. I'm not saying you're going to be a millionaire or a billionaire. That's only for the people who want to. Most people would like to just be able to manage their money properly, live comfortably, and progress as they go, whether it be fast or whether it be slow. But I will tell you, slow, slow, um, slow and steady does win the race for a lot of people, especially if you want your money to last. Okay, so don't be alarmed if you don't get all everything overnight. That's fine. Just know that the process is taking place and enjoy yourself. Okay. Well, that's all for this video here today. I will be back with another video uh, really soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, visit my social medias. That information is in my description box. Uh, definitely go over to the YouTube page and subscribe. Um, and also hit the notification bell so that you can get all my new videos as they come out. 
and check out those old videos there or there they're not old like super old but the videos that have already been put out um check that out okay all right so thank you so much again for tuning in i appreciate all of your love and support and i will see you on another video peace